Parents in South Allegheny will need to hop behind the wheel themselves to get their kids to school. Megan Schiller has learned the bus company ditched the school district over an alleged unpaid bill. She has new reaction on the bus battle, new at six. It's a tale as old as time, a dispute between a school district and a bus company. The COVID pandemic makes this fight unique, but the attorneys on both sides say the contract is clear. Frustrating, ridiculous. This mom can't add one more thing to her plate. You are waiting in line on Washington Boulevard for 30 minutes plus to drop them off or pick them up. South Allegheny parent Brittany Wazalowski loves her daughter dearly, but she's happy to see her return to fifth grade four days a week. And now we finally get to send them back to school and you have this hurdle to jump over. The hurdle is transportation. It falls on the parents now after the Suncoach bus company cut ties with South Allegheny over an alleged unpaid bill. We provided bus service for six months without getting paid under the under the terms of the contract to the to our detriment of about for this school year six hundred thousand dollars after 25 years of busing south allegheny students attorney ray middleman's client sun coach lines llc called it quits saying the district stopped paying the full contracted amount so we want the parents to know it wasn't us we tried to do this we did the best that we could against very difficult circumstances and confusion caused by the district. The attorneys representing the school district disagree. They wouldn't do an interview, but told me over the phone that paragraph four in the contract protects them right there, where it says the district will pay the bus company unless the school district, quote, discontinues school bus transportation services. No, 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 no. Middleman argues that never happened. The bus company remained at the ready and running routes. And that line doesn't mean what the district thinks it means. It is unambiguous. It's clear. It's concise. It, it does not relieve them of having to pay the bulk rate. Now the district tells me parents might have to wait until late March or early April for them to find a new bus company. On a scale of 1 to 10, where would you rate your frustration? Oh, between an eight and a nine, if not a 10. That concerned mother tells me it boils down to this. She doesn't care how the issue is resolved. She just wants a bus to show up to pick up her child. She thinks she can speak for most of the parents in the district in saying that she's tired and she can't do it all. Reporting in McKeesport, Megan Schiller, KDK News.